Here what we do is we cut to the chase in the sense that we take a patient's own immune cells, T cells, which are programmed to target or to recognize proteins that are foreign and kill off any cells that express foreign proteins. And we re-engineer them because a T cell, your own T cell, doesn't, won't recognize proteins that are on your own cells. It recognizes things as being self or non-self. And so what has to happen is we have to make these immune cells, these T cells, which are capable of killing tumor cells, ideally, we need to re-educate them to recognize the cancer cells as being foreign. And we can do that by, in the laboratory, engineering or creating a type of artificial receptor, which we term a CAR, or chimeric antigen receptor, and putting that gene into a virus that allows the gene to be inserted into the T cells. So what we do is we take a patient's own T cells, the patient has cancer, we take them and take the T cells, put them in, in the laboratory, we add this virus which will bring the gene into these T cells. These T cells will then grow and express this artificial tumor specific receptor. Once these cells have been expanded enough, they're infused back into the patient and ideally if this approach works, these T cells root out residual tumor cells or overt tumor cells and kill them. And unlike a antibody or a chemotherapy, these T cells ideally can persist and proliferate in the patient. So this is not the same paradigm as you would see in a new type of chemotherapy where repeated infusions would likely be necessary.